Hi everybody, welcome back to the next in my series of updated for 2024 Beginner's Guides to Modding PC Daisy Community Servers. In this one, we're going to be looking at how you can get weapons to spawn in on your server with stuff already attached to them. Um, and also, we're going to be looking at um, magazines with bullets in them as well. Because there's nothing more frustrating. Well, is it frustrating? I don't know. I do know that it's very nice to find a gun that has bullets already in it and already has a sight on or a suppressor or something like that. But before we get started, um, I'd like to remind everybody that this is a series of video tutorials. Um, and if you've just come to this video randomly, what you'll see in the description below this uh, video is a link to the playlist that has all the videos. I've tried to do them in some sort of logical order. There's also a previous and next video link, because again, what I've tried to do is record them in such a way that each video builds on the knowledge of the last one. So if you're a total beginner, you can slowly start to learn what this is all about until we get to our ultimate destination which would be the beginning of your journey of going into more and more advanced mods okay so with this particular one what we're going to do is we're going to be interested in a couple of files types.xml we're going to be interested in and we're going to be interested in cfg spawnable types.xml so we're going to go over to our server um, this is the dashboard we're going to go to the file browser um, we're going to go to daisy standalone we're going to go into the missions folder and we're going to, this is a Chernerus server, so we're going to go into Chernerus, if it was Livonia it would be Enoch. And then we're going to download CFG spawnable types that XML. A little bit too big to, to edit on the, on the web browser, so we're going to download that one. And then we're also going to go into the DB directory and we're going to download types that XML. Now, these are going to be in our downloads folder on our computer. So let's see if we can um, find that. Where's, uh, well, let's go here. Let's go to downloads. There we go. So there's downloads. Is types still downloading? Where's types? Is it just, I should really clear this out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we've got types. And then we've got a CFG spawnable type. So let's make a new folder. Let's call this. Uh, Guns with stuff. Okay, and then let's take CFG spawnable types. Let's drop it into there and types as well. And the, the the reason why we put it in a separate folder is just so that it's we can work on it and it, and it's easy to see. And let's open these up in Notepad plus plus or your favorite text editor. Let's just shut down these other ones. Don't worry at the moment the fact that they've got the extra numbers. You might not have the extra numbers. The reasons why I've got mine have the extra numbers is because I obviously make a lot of these videos and I download a lot of these files over and over and again. So, so they've got numbers. So first off, I tell you what, let's look at probably the simpler one, which is how do you spawn magazines with guns? So if you do a control F and search for mag and find all in current document, you'll find all the mags. So let's go to the first one, the mag 1911 7 round. Now, this is the entry for that, so you can see the beginning of the type, the closing of the type. There's the class name, mag 1911 7 round. So there should be 40 of them on the server. There's a minimum is 30, so when, when it gets down to 30, they'll start spawning in again, um, and they're only counted on the map. It's weapons, military tier one, tier two. But what we're interested in is the quant min and the quant max. This is a percentage um, number. And it's the, the percentage that this magazine will be full of bullets. So not the number of bullets, but just the percentage. So if we do, for example, quant min 99, quant max 100, that magazine will spawn in basically full of bullets every time, which is what we want. Now we can go to the next one, AK-101. And we could do, in fact, if I'd been clever what would have done let's go back to this one we could just copy that can we copy and then we could go to this one and then we could paste now what we're not doing here what am i doing there it is what we're not doing here is we're not doing a um like a global in fact all the mags are underneath each other so this is easy easy we're not doing a global find and replace and the reason why i'm not doing it 
a global find and replace just to replace them all really quickly is because it would be very um, easy to change the quant min and quant max on something that maybe didn't have a quant min or quant max so it said minus one so something like um, uh, a, t a shirt or a pair of shoes they they would say minus one because there's nothing inside them um, so and we don't want to accidentally change those and we don't want to actually accidentally change something we don't want to change that would have something else inside of them like say a vitamin bottle or a um, water bottle something something like that as you can see we can go through and we would change them all and that's what you do you just go through every single mag and just do that change it to quant min 99 quant max 100 and when you're done hit save so we would then re-upload that to our server restart our server and then gradually as the old magazines that weren't full would despawn over time they would be replaced by magazines that were were full so that's magazines so the next thing is the guns themselves so how do you make guns spawn with stuff on them so let us scroll down uh what's gonna be the easy way to find this let's control f let's look for a ka find all in current document ka is probably a not a good example here we go so we've got to the makarov ij70 and all the weapons are together which is handy that um, i've remembered that <laughs> and so we have the entry now these kind of look like entries from types don't they the ones in cfg spawnable types look different because you've got the class name at the top it says makarov ij70 the pistol but whoop um but it is slightly different we don't have all the the different bits in there but we do have this attachments thing and what you can see here is in this attachments argument it says attachments chance equals 0 0.6 so that means 60 percent so there's a 60 percent chance when you find a makarov ij70 pistol there's a 60 percent chance it'll have a magazine in it if we want this to be 100 percent chance so if we want every single makarov to have a magazine in it we just change that chance to 1.0 it's as simple as that in fact what we could do now is we could just go copy and again we're not you going to use a global um a copy and paste you know to find and replace to all of this stuff simply because we don't want to change something that we, it might go wrong if we change the wrong thing so let's go down to so the CZ-75, this is a little bit different on this one. So with this one, it's saying um, there's a 70% chance it can have a mag, a 20% chance it could have a pistol suppressor, and a 10% chance it could have the light on it. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we change that to 100%, change that to 100%, and change that to... 100%. So now every CZ-75 will spawn in with a magazine, a pistol suppressor, and a light on the side of it. Um, so you do the same for all of those. Now let's go to something more complicated. Here we go. So this is where th we start have to start have to be a little bit careful with these ones now. So this is the MP5K or the SG-5K submachine gun. Because some of these have multiple attachments that can go into the same slot. And we need to be careful that where something has um, multiple attachments that can go into the same slot, that we don't make a mistake with our maths here. So with the MP5K, for example, there's a 5% chance it'll have the rail guard, the MP5 rail guard, um, and every single one of them will have the plastic hand guard. And every single one of them will have a, a buttstock attached to it. And if we scroll down, but then when we get to the magazine, there's a chance of two different magazines. So there's a 30% chance that the MP5K will spawn with a magazine, and there's a 50-50, so 50% 50 chance whether it be the 15 round or the 30 round. So what we could do is if we change that to 1, so there we go, so attachment chance equals 1. What we could do now is if we change this to 1, or 100%, what we would then do is we would get rid of the top one. Okay. So there's a 100% chance that the MP5K will spawn with a mag, and there's a 100% chance it will be the 30-round mag. Yeah. So let's go on to this one. So this attachment setting here is for the optic. Um, so what we could do is, is, so if we say, if we 
say that is 100%. So there's a 100% chance that the MP5K will spawn with an optic. Now, if we add up all of these percentage here, you've got 3, add 2 is 5, add 2 is 7, add 2 is 9, add 1 is 100%. So you'll notice what sh should happen is wherever there is multiple bits that could be slotted into the same bit on the gun, the chances that they're there should add up to 100%. So at the moment, what's going to happen is when the MP5K spawns in, it will definitely have one of these optics. But, you know, what? which one will it be? You know, will it be um, any of those? So what you could do is you could, for example, change the ACOG to 100%, but then get rid of the others. Or you could do it something like the ACOG was, um, yeah, you know, 9, so 0.9. And then the others were like 0 0.0, or well, there's four, isn't there? So it'd be 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, and 0 0.04. So that would add up to 100. Or you could just have it as the reflex optic was 1.00, and then just delete the others. I quite like leaving it like this, though, where there's you've got that randomness. Is, okay, you find an MP5K. Okay, you found it's got a mag on, so great, so it's usable. But it might have a different scope on. So that gives you a chance to play with different things. And then finally, we have these ones here, uh, compensators and suppressors. Now, th this one is a little bit weird, because I'm not sure if the coders have got this right, but what I like to do is I like to have guns that have suppressors on. I really do like them have, have that. And what I would probably do is I would... Um, we could either delete the MP5 compensator section, or I tell you what, let's do a new technique. If we do left arrow bracket and then put an exclamation mark and put dash dash like that then after the attachments we go dash dash and put the right arrow bracket what that does is this left arrow bracket with the exclamation mark dash dash that means anything after this is a remark so mr server don't read this and then when it gets to dash dash with the right arrow it means okay that remark is now over start reading the file again so this what you see in green here is the server will simply ignore that and won't do anything about it so all you would do is just carefully go through all of the weapons changing the attachment rates for the mags to 1.00 changing the attachment rates for the scopes to 1.00 changing the suppressors to 1.00 um, so that these guns are always going to spawn in and then we would then we would save it so we've saved it there so what we're going to do now is, just to make sure that everything's okay, we're going to go to our XML validator, and we're going to choose the file. So it's in downloads, it's in guns with stuff, so let's check the types first. So we're going to open that, validate it. No errors are found. Click on XML validation, we're going to say choose another file, and now we're going to check the CFG spawnable types, validate. No errors are found. So both files are good. If there was an error, it would tell us which line it was in. When we'd look at that line, if it's obvious that the error is there, we could correct it. If we're not sure where the error is, we could then download the file again from our server because we haven't worked on the original that's on the server um, and then upload it. Now, because I'm fairly, I'm happy with what we've done, I'm going to go back to guns with stuff. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to left click this. I'm just going to get rid of the seven bit. So it just says CFG spawnable types. I'm going to left click the types bit. And I go in and I'm just going to click that. And then what we can do is we just go back to our server. And just go into. Here we go. So you upload file. Guns with stuff. Upload the types over the top of the existing one. And then we're going to go back to the root directory. Of the mission, so Daisy Offline Generous Plus. Upload file and upload the CFG spawnable types, and that is there. So now we could restart the server, and those changes would start to take effect. However, also, if you've been watching this and thinking that's all very good, Rob, but to be honest, it still is a little bit complicated and a little bit long-winded, and I haven't got the time to go through and do all that stuff because it just does just take time plus i'm a bit worried that i might make a mistake have you not got any files that already do this for me and the answer to that is um, well actually i do so in the link to this in the description below this video you'll find a link to my github repository and what you'll find in my github repository if we go to overview actually 
if I do this one. Um, what you should find on the home page, um, and I'll have that link there, are collections of files that are designed to give you a boosted loot, complete weapons, complete vehicles, um, set of files that you can upload to your server um, without having to do all the legwork. Now, this is for Daisy Update 1.25 at the moment. Now, hopefully, by the time you watch this video, if we're on Update 1.26 or Update 1.27 or whatever we're on, I'll have done the updated ones. Generally, you'll also find links to them on my homepage as well for my video. So if you go to Scale Speed of Gaming and you scroll down, what you should say somewhere is Modding Daisy. There we go. So you'll find a Daisy Update 1.25 whatever and that will have the updated files and what you can do with these is so for example if we go into the Chernerous ones here you'll see I've got these files already done so there's CFG spawnable types there's a types XML and these files do other things as well they don't just give you complete weapons and don't just give you get mags with bullets in they do lots of other stuff fun stuff as well to make your server easier to play on like a beginners kind of server but that's all listed in the readme and all you do is you click on the code button, download the zip, extract it on your local computer, read the readme, and you just upload these files on top of the existing files of your server and restart, and those changes will start to take effect. And it's as easy as that. And to be honest, with for a lot of people, when you are starting to mod your Daisy server, if you're getting a little bit um, maybe frustrated at how long it takes to do stuff, because when you knew when you try and learn stuff then i would always say maybe start with my modded files and then straight away you've got a server that's got things like more loot more food more drink complete weapons complete vehicles that sort of stuff and you can start enjoying that and the people on your server can start enjoying it straight away but there we go hopefully you found this video useful if you have hit like if you want to be on the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon